today we're using Schwarzkopf Pastels Live in Lilac Blush. Ah, uh, this is a different colour. What do you mean this is a different... Nanny? Why is this? Nanny the f***? That's very strange. I bought all of these at the same time. I think she needs to fire her hairdresser. It is a little bit patchy. It, mostly when you sort of pull it apart like this and then you start to notice bits that are a lot lighter and then there's bits that are a bit darker and then there's bits like uh, just here, for example. Thank you for watching the purple hair video if you did. And if you didn't, please watch the purple hair video. I've washed my hair four more times since that video and it's still quite purple. So that's thanks to the shampoo that I've been using. The problem is that there are some rather patchy spots and I have had some comments saying your hair's nasty. So um, we're gonna go over the top of it with some hair dye that I bought today. I went on a little adventure to Hair House Warehouse, which is uh, where you get all your hair stuff in Australia. I think they have the widest range. I don't know if there's any Aussies watching and you know somewhere better to go than Hair House Warehouse, please tell me. But uh, I'm trying this brand called Dare. Dare has the cutest packaging ever, might I say. So this one is called Dare Forget Me Not. It actually looks like basically the perfect shade of purple. Look at that. I hope that it actually comes out that color. Then we've got Forbidden Grape. This one is a really, really super dark purple color. The lady in the store suggested to me that I buy this, which is called the Dare to Pearl Toner slash Pastelizer. So apparently you just add this into the darker colors until you get the shade that you want. I don't know how adventurous I'm feeling today. Part of me is like, yeah, just do whatever the hell you want. Just go, go wild. And then the other part of me is like, hmm, play it safe. This stuff was expensive. Dare to Pearl Toner, $22. Dare Shade number one, $22. Dare Shade number four, $22. If I'd known what a commitment doing my hair was, maybe I wouldn't have started in the first place. I will never financially recover from this. Okay, well, um, as much as I love to have my little sooky boy here with me, we don't want him breathing in bad fumes. Big bad fumes. If you have a pet and you're dyeing your hair, Put pet away. Pet's little lungs are not made for fumes. Sorry, baby. Gotta go to bed. Gotta go to bed. <laughs> Look. Look at my sweet bird. You're so good, aren't you? So I'm really, really nervous because I've never dyed my hair properly myself. I'm worried that I'm gonna miss spots. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm literally just gonna get the product, rub it and just like, go crazy and just sort of massage it in absolutely everywhere. I'm sure there's a better way of doing it than that, but I'm not coordinated and I can't do anything in reverse in a mirror. You know how some people will put like a mirror there and then they'll have a mirror behind them and they'll look in this mirror and see the mirror behind them and then they can just, they can just do everything at the back of their head and they can lift up parts of their hair and they can use a little brush and they can do the roots and then not get anything on the rest of their hair. Look, I can't do that. I'm not about that life. I'm not about that hand-eye coordination. Man, I can't believe how many different colors my hair is pulling. This part looks pink. This part is like gray. This is a dark purple or like, this is periwinkle blue. So I've washed my hair, I shampooed and conditioned it, which looking back, I feel like that may not have been the right thing to do. There was a hairdresser explaining to me that depending on the brand that you're using, some products you should shampoo and condition before some products you should only shampoo before, and some you should have like three or four day old unwashed hair. I don't know what I'm supposed to have done with Dare. It would probably help if I read the instructions. Directions to mermaidness. <laughs> shampoo hair and do not condition. Dry hair fully, then apply Dare color, wear gloves, leave on hair for 30 minutes for best results, talk to other unicorns while you wait. Rinse out Dare with cool to lukewarm water, Hot water removes some color vibrancy, plus mermaids hate hot water. <laughs> Condition, do not shampoo. Style as usual, bam! You're a dareified babe in real life mermaid. Dare number one, forget me not, is here for a good time, not a long time. It will last between five to 10 washes. It's designed to be a pastel, non-committal shade. Hmm. Dare Forbidden Grape lasts between 10 to 30 washes. Color fades out to pastel awesomeness the more you wash. Hmm. 
Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is try and use this entire thing of dare number one, and I'm gonna add just a little bit of this forbidden grape color to this, so that way it starts off a more vibrant purple, and then it can fade out, because I feel like if I start with this, it's only gonna get lighter and lighter from there, so I, I think I'll, I hope, I hope I'm not gonna regret this. Here we go. Look at the forbidden noodles. I'm starting to think that one tube wasn't enough for my whole head. Me after eating a whole bag of sugar-free gummy bears. Oh my god. It smells like sugar. Oh, it smells delicious. Time for a little bit of the dark purple. Oh, okay, I think I'll just... Just start with a tiny bit like that. Time to mix. Oh dear, I think I used to, oh no. What have I done? She's goofed it again. Oh no, it's okay. No, that's, that's actually, that's not too bad, come to think of it. Actually, that's, that's quite pretty. Actually, I take it all back. I'm a genius, Brad Mondo is quaking. Okay, now my only concern is that I don't have enough. I, I was just hesitant, you know, it was 20, what was it, $25 for one tube? And like, I already bought three different ones. And I was thinking, oh, you know, I don't really wanna go buying any more. That's getting really, really expensive. But I, I don't think I've got enough. Well, anyway, here goes nothing. Okay, so the texture of this looks much easier to work with than the texture of the uh, Schwarzkopf one that I was using. Sam said that it was like paste and it wasn't getting between the hairs. So this one looks, you know, nice and thin. I'm going to retroactively ask you for advice. Uh, watch what I'm doing and then comment on my technique and tell me what I'm doing wrong. Oh dear. Oh dear. I probably should have sectioned my hair. I can hear your screams through the computer. Thing is, it can't get any more patchy than it already is, right? Pretty pastel pleases stupid dum 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 Trying to dye her hair purple dum 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 Well, the container's empty now. Back to the drawing board. So because I've run out, now I'm going to try and use this pearl pastelizer with the forbidden grape. And I'm gonna try and make a shade that is similar to what I was just putting on my head. But this is going to once again lead to patchiness and inconsistencies. Summary of my life. More forbidden ramen. Whoa, whoa, wow, okay. So uh, that pastelizer doesn't make things as pastel as I thought it would. I mean, don't get me wrong, that is a very nice shade of purple, but not quite what it was before. Well, I have officially used all the pastelizer. I guess I definitely started with too much of the dark purple. That's fine, everything's fine. Look, let me be a professional and use a brush. Mm, this is gonna take too long. How naive for me to think that this would be as easy as just putting shampoo in my hair. Coloring hair is hard. This is why you should leave it to the professionals. I'm so nervous to see what this looks like at the end. Maybe I can be the Bob Ross of hair tutorials. There's no mistakes here. Just happy accidents. All right, what's your biggest hair fail? If you've dyed your hair before, tell me the worst thing that happened. <laughs> tell me your biggest mistake. See, that's the thing. We can all learn from our mistakes. If this turns out terribly, you guys can learn from my mistake. I feel like I already know that the mistakes here are that I didn't section my hair for a start. I uh, conditioned it prior to the color, which the bottle said not to do. I mixed the colors inconsistently. I didn't follow a tutorial. The Unicorn Council will not be pleased with me. What will the mermaids say? The thing is that I want to go back to red. I really want to go back to red. I miss my natural hair color. But seeing as I've gone to all the effort of having my hair bleached so that I can do pastel colors, I feel like I need to do all the colors first and get it out of my system before I go back to red. Because once I go back to red, I'm not gonna bleach it again. I'm just not. Oh no, I have found a patchy spot. I didn't section my hair last time. You'd think I would learn from my mistakes, but never. Okay, I hope I've got it all. I, oh no, oh no. This is the first time I've looked in the mirror at the back of my head. And I think I'm missing a really big patch. 
I think I'm finished. That took way longer than I thought it was going to. And I'm really hungry now from all that effort. So I'm gonna cook some lunch. Uh, you guys can come along with me and watch me make my lunch if you're interested. Otherwise, skip ahead. There are some spots that the color just won't pick up. There's a part here that no matter what I do to it and no matter how many times I ran the color over it, it just wouldn't pick it up. So I know for certain, for certain, this is going to be patchy. But you know what? We're having fun today, kids, aren't we? Fun. It's fun, isn't it? Leave a comment and say you're having fun. People ask me a lot about what I eat in a day. I've never made any videos about it, but uh, for you guys, I'm assuming that you're interested in really mundane, silly things that I get up to during the day. So I'm going to show you what I make for lunch every day. So every day for lunch, I have a chicken salad. So I have here a chicken breast. This is Lily Dale free range chicken. So I put it on a chopping board, cut it straight down the center. I hit it with some salt and some pepper. I put the fry pan on high heat and uh, I cook with rice bran oil. I cook the chicken for three and a half minutes on each side. Okay, time's up now and the most important thing is to take it off the heat and leave it to rest. I leave it for five minutes. All right, now watch carefully because if you blink, you'll miss it. I take a salad mix. This is mixed leaf. I take half a small red onion because I love onion. Five grape tomatoes, because if I have any more than five, it makes my pee burn. Two small baby cucumbers. They have to be baby cucumbers because they taste the best. I should probably tell you guys to use a chopping board because that's responsible. I take a whole handful of dried roasted almonds because Archie isn't the only one that loves them. I take a cube of goat's cheese. If you're in Australia, I use Meredith Dairy. It's my favorite. You can get it at Coles and Woolies and IGA and basically everywhere. Crumble that over. If you don't like goat's cheese, you can have feta. Then I lick my fingers. It's my favorite part. Then I take balsamic glaze. You can use normal balsamic vinegar if you don't want it to be so sweet. Then I slice the chicken on an angle because I'm fancy. And I put the chicken in the salad. Then I take a fork and I eat it straight from the salad bowl because I'm a lazy piece of shit. I also live on soda water. I don't really drink soft drinks or juice. Yes, I drink it straight from the bottle. I'm the only person in the house that drinks it. Time for me to sit down, watch an episode of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and then I'll wash out my hair. I cannot believe that these women are having a virtual reunion and they're not taking the opportunity to wear their pajamas. They're all in full glam. You can bet your bottom dollar that if I was a housewife doing a virtual reunion, I'd be wearing a Walmart Moo Moo and smashing a pack of Cheez-Its. Okay, I finished lunch and I think it's time for me to wash out the hair. All right, so the bottle said to condition, but not shampoo the hair and to wash it with lukewarm water. Are you ready? This turned out a hell of a lot better than what it did the first time. Um, I'm really, 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 really happy. And I, look, now I don't know. I'm like, hmm, was the first time, was that Sam 
brand's fault or was that the brand's fault? Or maybe a little bit of both, I'm not sure. Oh, this purple is sick. And I don't know if I'll be able to recreate it because it was a mix of various things. And I don't know what ratio or what formula that I used. So I probably won't be able to recreate it exactly. But I will try my best next time I need to dye my hair. I, I really like this colour. So I didn't shampoo it. I only conditioned just the ends. I didn't condition all the way to the roots. So I have a feeling after the first wash it will look kind of different. I'll have to update you guys. But this is it at the moment. Uh, I can't see my hair from the back. But maybe you can have a look. You can tell me what you think. Look how shiny it is. Wow. What do you reckon? Do you like it? Well, it's done a good job of covering up the parts that didn't really take the other brand. You know, you can still kind of see where that weird band is just there, but it's nowhere near as bad. I guess because this color is a bit darker, it goes over that kind of yellowish patch much easier than the other color did. I'm really, really happy with this product. I don't know if you can get it overseas. I hope for your sake that you can, because I'm really happy with it. It's lovely. I don't know how long lasting it'll be. Uh, I'll probably check back in after I've washed my hair a couple of times and I will just write in the description box how it's done. I'll just say, you know, like lasted three washes or lasted 10 washes, whatever. So just come back in a couple of weeks and check the description box. But uh, anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. Just a quick one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you like the hair color. I really like it. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!